Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks number 443. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, in this trick here, we have a common problem. People have uh, transactional daily records and they want monthly totals, but not just monthly totals like this. We actually saw this in our last video. Um, th they want a cumulative. Now, if in this video we're going to see pivot table and sum if sum if you can't do arrays inside of sum if, so uh, we can't just have uh, our transactional daily dates. We can't construct an array in here like we would with an array formula or sum product. You actually have to add an extra column. The month looks over here, tells us the month, and then this goes on. This is a huge data set. All right, and then you build your months instead of putting January, February, or March, or the date you actually put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 through 12. Then you could do your sum if. You have your range, your criteria, and your sum values. And then you could do a cumulative total. This is the long way. I'm going to show you the fast way in just a moment, right? So you'd lock one and not the other, copy it down, and when you get down to the bottom, you can see that expandable range. Ah, but you don't need to do these two columns. There's an easy way with some if. Let me hide these. I'm going to say hide. And we're going to use our uh, sum if with our extra column here equals sum if. The range, well, we our criteria is the month column, so I can click there, Control Shift Down, Arrow and F4. The criteria, we're going to have to say less than or equal to, and in double quotes, less than or equal to double quotes and ampersand to join it with this. That criteria, when we get down here, will say less than or equal to 2. This criteria right here, when it gets to 3, it'll say less than or equal to 3. So that is the way of scooping out multiple months cumulatively as we copy this formula down. Comma, and then the sum range is going to be this, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. And that should be our formula if I close parentheses right there. The whole trick was that right there, Control Enter and double click and send it down. And so we can come down here and we can see it works perfectly when it gets to the 12. Now, um, that's relatively straightforward and people, lots of people do like uh, functions. We had to add a month column, we had to ha know how to do this formula here. Let's see how to do it with a pivot table because it is just much easier. It is um, one extra step than most people do to get a cumulative total. I'm going to click in one cell, and then I'm going to go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. I'm going to say New Sheet. Now, we need to group the date. So in 2003 or earlier, you drag, and, uh, drag over to the grid. In uh, 2007 and 3, you drag down to Row Labels. Right click, Group. We're going to say uh, Months and, oops. Right click, uh, group. We want months and years. If you have uh, multiple years, it doesn't look like we have our, our dates are only in one year. If you have multiple years, you got to click years or you get into trouble. I'm just going to click uh, years to stay out of trouble. Now we come down here, we drag our sales uh, to the values field over here or in earlier versions right here. Here's the trick to get cumulative, you right click and point to value field settings. And then you want to go sum, that's what we want, but show values as. Actually, I'm going to add some number formatting right here while I'm here. You can change the function, but I'm going to go to show values as, and then right down here, running total in. Show values as, running total in. I'm going to say uh, based on the date field right here, and then click OK. And sure enough, we get uh, with just a few clicks are, it didn't doesn't look like it formatted that. Let me do that again. Value field settings. Did I click something wrong? Currency, and then click OK. Click OK. OK, so there we go. So um, pivot table, uh, the fastest. Um, but uh, lots of people like the sum if. So there's a formula for cumulative m monthly totals. All right, we'll see you next trick.